Hi, Sharks. My name is Sabin Lomack. And I am his younger cousin, Jim Salikas. And together, we are Cousins Maine Lobster. Sharks, we're here seeking $55,000 in exchange for 5% of our company. Sharks, at Cousins Maine Lobster, we bring the Maine Lobster experience to Southern California. And we do it via our amazing Gourmet Lobster Shack on Wheels. We get our lobsters from shore to door in less than 24 hours. Here's the thing. Right now, we need to add another truck or two because, frankly, we can't keep up with our own demand. We would love for one of you to join our family business and become a third cousin. $55,000 for 5%. Basically, you want to buy another truck with my $55,000. You're valuing this business at over a million bucks. You haven't heard a word about the business, yeah, Kevin. You know, I know I did. So what are you worried about the valuation? They may, have, they may have 10 trucks. So you, how many trucks do you have? Right now, we have one truck. Ooh. $150,000 of sales. We've been open two months. Two months? With one, one truck. truck. Let's say I want to be in the lobster business. Mr. Wonderful's Blobster, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> Why don't I just go get a couple of guys with flip-flops on, call up somebody in Maine saying, I've got money, you've got lobsters, mm -hmm. and do this whole thing myself. Why are you worth right. a million one? You can start your own truck and you can hire your own staff, but what you can't do is what you just said and call up on the phone to Maine. It's not, it's not like that. So you're the only guys, because you've only been in business two months, these guys only deal with you now because they they haven't been in business the last 50 years. No, 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 of course. We, yeah, they have. You and, are and very we, greedy crustaceans, both of you. You haven't gone into the economics per truck. Right. You haven't talked about seasonality. You haven't talked about any other cost issues that might come along. Right. So we're locked into our pricing, and typically prices will rise. With our connections and what we have with our supplier, we're locked in what we're paying right now. We're going to be paying in the winter. So what are you paying right now on a, what's the average? The traditional lobster roll, we price at $13. What's so your cost on that? $5.85. Guys, I asked you the question about the economics of the truck. Mm -hmm. So please, somebody who might invest, tell me what the economics are per truck. OK, so we'll start with how much is a purchase? You buy it for roughly, ours was $65,000. OK. Monthly overhead with our employees, $20,000. Per truck? Per or, truck. Okay. A month. A month. A month. Okay, so okay. 20K per month per mm -hmm. truck. If you have more than one truck, does it get amortized, amortized across the truck? Uh, would the overhead would actually go down a little because we've hired a general manager. You are not the general manager? Well, I, well, 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 there's a reason why that is because when we got into this business, we knew a lot about lobster. We knew a lot about the service industry. We didn't know a lot about the trucking business. These guys are talking all kinds of nonsense. You know what? Because you thought it was more important to talk about all the nonsense. That's not see through fair, the nonsense. Mark. I'm out. I like the idea. Yes. And I know this is very yes. hot and people are loving this. Help me get to the million dollar, $1.1 million valuation. It's so high. It's so ridiculous, yeah. It's outrageous what you're asking for. Okay. I can't take it anymore. For the sake of lobsters that are still alive, I'm out. Give me your best offer. I would feel really comfortable right around the 7 to 8%. You know what? You're a very good actor. You said that with a straight face. So, uh, I'm out. So I'll give you the 55,000, but I want 25%. Okay. Okay. Can we hear Barbara's? Well, I'm going to offer you your $55,000. Right. But for that amount of money, I would like to have 17% of your business. 17. And you, and you know why? Because 17 is my lucky number. Our last question, strategies, uh, thoughts that you guys might have? The best thing I could do for you, which this guy cannot do, is I am a genius marketer. There's a reason I'm up here. I, I don't need to prove what I can do but they to ask you. you. You want to go in and change your business? You oh, need I a job, them. Barbara? No. Go ahead. My I help every off the entrepreneur table. I'm You're Barbara. left with Barbara. I have a job. Robert, you're out? I'm out. Barbara, would you consider 12%? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to meet you halfway. $55,000 for 15%. Halfway between the 12 and the 17. Barbara, welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see how they're doing now. It's amazing what can happen in six years. When we started, we had one food truck in Los Angeles. Since then, we've grown into 29 food trucks, 21 different franchisees, 10 restaurants, and guess what? We're international in Taiwan. It's crazy. 
And today is the grand opening of our 10th franchise right here in New York City. Enjoy. It's hot. Be careful. Anytime I can get a free lunch from Barbara, I'm there. <laughs> when we pitched on Shark Tank in 2012, we only had $150,000 in sales. Now, six years later, we've done over $50 million in sales. Our journey with Shark Tank has been an absolute dream come true. The power of this show, the ability to help entrepreneurs achieve their dreams, to help their families. There's no show that has ever done anything of this magnitude, and I don't believe there's ever a show that will. Rule four, live your values. What's the point of having values if you're not going to live them? Right? If your actions on a daily basis, your family's actions don't align with your family and you truly value, that makes for a miserable existence. But when you nail it, when you nail it, it's like the train is on the tracks and everything is efficient and you feel good about yourself because you're acting out what you believe in, what you value. <laughs> so it's as simple as sitting down with your family, sitting down with yourself and laying out those those values you have, that belief system you have, and then, and then reflecting and saying, do I actually live this way? Do I partake in a lifestyle that matches the way I say I want to live?